Morning everybody. Um, well, we've just had breakfast, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. Um, I had a good night's sleep. Um, we've noticed one thing in the hotels though, that it's a bit more dampy the minute I go outside, personally anyway. Um, I get a little bit more energy. Um, so it's unlike being indoors, um, or in the UK, it's usually like I get too cold and, and the damp affects my breathing and my, my body aches more. Here seems to be a little bit on the opposite side. I, I, I get a little bit more energy with the vitamin D and, and all that stuff going outside. <coughs> so, and uh, Tone doesn't have to use his uh, walking stick either, which is a good thing. Um, uh, most, uh, even though there's hills and stuff like that, we end up having to use a lot of the um, going up the buses and we've noticed that walking is not the best but they do a lot, have a lot of car parking and, and the bus system usually does help. So yeah, apart from that, we, we find our different alternatives on going, going around really. Anyway, we're going to go to Gozo Island and uh, this time by, by uh, check the buses. We did the sightseeing tour uh, bus routine last time. So we're going to hopefully go and see the, um, the Crofts Village properly and see how they do the honey because that intrigued us last time. And this time we look at it properly. So, uh, see you on the other side. Hey everybody, well we got on uh, off at um, uh, Gozo and took the first bus we jumped on which was the 301. Uh, we decided to go to the craft machine, craft village, sorry, um, and it, that takes us to Victoria uh, bus terminal. Victoria is the capital of Gozo, but oh my god, it was like a pig's, a pig's animal stocking. The minute we got on, it was packed. We thought people would still be sensible getting on it, but it was a disgusting experience, in, to name the least. Um, a lot of tourists, mainly Germans, that were just. I don't, no offense to Germans, but where's your manners, man? Seriously, uh, they sit on you, they push you, they prog you, and cough in your, cough face. In your face with that, and then put their dirty, filthy hands that with after the puffing onto your hand, trying to hold the rail. Ew, was the least that I could think of. Um, and they look at you with like what attitude? It's like what's your problem? Uh, it's like as if you're the disgusting. It's like, I mean, really. But anyway, um, Tone had the, his back is killing him at the moment. Um, to very nice, try I put it there, uh, fat birds just sort of decided to pretty Germans. much. Um, yeah, the Germans, when we noticed they were talking, um, quite stocky, meaty girls. Yeah, they were uh, pushing him. They weren't even girls, they were old ladies. So theoretically speaking, you'd think. They're a little bit of manners, but mind they decided to. Instead of saying excuse me, please, they decide to elbow you. <coughs> right where his operation was, at the back where the discs are, so you can imagine how painful that was. I had to bite my lip immensely. And uh, yeah, they pretty much lean on you as if you're their wall as well on top of you. And they were the ones as well that were coughing, weren't they? Yep, right in my face. No apology, no hand over their mouth. And they look at you as if, what's your problem? But anyway, thank God we got off. He had a few spasms. Um, there's a say, thank God he doesn't need the walking stick. I wish I bought it for spare just in case. We're sitting down at the moment waiting for another bus that will take my us. My legs don't work. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not an experience that we enjoyed, I won't lie. Um, but hey-ho, we're out at the moment. It's the uh, second strike. It's the first one is usually the bad thing about the Wi-Fi and um, that we've been... Promised no, it's, it's not even that, it's the sheer ignorance that you pushing me. Well, I guess the wife always me, but it's superficial, but yeah. Anyway, um, we'll keep you posted on how our trip goes and if it's uh, good enough to take out the selfie without being knocked over, we will do that. And I need to cheer Mr. Mr. here a little bit. Well, hiya again. We're still waiting for the bus, but I saw some uh, stalls with fruit vegetables near the car park over there. So I went up and uh, managed to get myself some uh, homemade cheese, uh, goat's uh, sheep's cheese with black pepper. I can handle that with my stomach. And some grapes for later on. So that's gonna go straight in the bag and then put in the fridge and I can smell the cheese. Oh my God, it smells That'll be delicious. But anyway, just thought I'd keep you all posted. Um, and yeah, see how it goes from here. Still waiting for a bus. 
311 to take us to the Croft Village. Yeah. Hi everybody, I'm just talking when the notes I pressed the start button. Right, we got off, uh, we ended up taking a 312 bus. Notice that there's more than one bus that goes to the uh, Crafts Village. Um, and we uh, pressed the bus up that we should have got off, but it stopped to stop later. So we kind of got a little bit lost. A bit lovely old lady. Uh, and there was a lovely, lovely old lady from, uh, from the island and has reimbursed, I mean, the hospitality. Oh my goodness, it's just like melted my heart. And she offered to take a walk us all the way here and um, offered me a piggyback ride. <laughs> he wishes. But bless her, she just um, showed us the way and started telling us, oh, what part of London are you from? And my, uh, my niece is there, she's a doctor and lives in Wembley. And oh my God, it's just like beautiful, beautiful. She didn't really have to show us the direction or at least walk with us part way until we figured out and then the instructions are quite simple. So I'm just going to give you a run in the houses. I prefer doing that rather than taking the original bus. But yeah, we're now looking at the areas. The roads are wider. People are like laid back. It's just really quiet. I'm falling in love more with this one than I am with Malta, the main island. And he's got a lot of convincing. He's got a lot of convincing. But this is if we were to move here. I mean, we were contemplating on whether for the for the weather, like moving somewhere right here. It's cheap. And it is cheap. But um, yeah, it's it's uh, if it's based on what we saw today here and the housing and not being so cramped and laid back, I'd be more tempted to be here and have your main business or whatever down that side. But here in Victoria, you've got all the hospitals, the universities, pretty much mirrors Malta. So if there's anything to go by, I'd rather be on um, Gozo than than. And a lot of people have already said if you're going to move there, go to Gozo, don't do Malta. It's too touristy. touristy. And yeah, I think from seeing what I've seen today, I totally agree from the locals that I've met outside and those that have actually, um, the expats have moved there and gone back to England for holidays. They said, if you want to go and live in Malta, to go so. And I think so far they're right. Anyway, I'm going to start walking up towards the Croft village, but I'll turn the camera around uh, at the moment so you can see what we're seeing. Sorry, I have to take my little thumb out to, to, to navigate. As you can see, that's where the uh, Crofts village is. Uh, the bus route uh, was coming down that way from uh, the centre of, of Victoria, which is the capital of uh, Gozo. So we're going to go over there and just uh, chill. Uh, apparently, the best of time is uh, say that uh, to be in there will be about an hour to two. I don't think we'll be able to spend leather house there and they've got the glass blowing hot glass studio uh, we might just sort of ponder around and see how they do things things that we're looking at um, from outside for us to be able to go in and have a look. Was that the other one? Yeah. Okay, well in that case we'll go look at that later. Yeah, we could always go and have a look at the other one. 
Yeah, they do the girls with cheese and honey there, but I would like to see the other well, we'll uh, options. Well, we just did a bit of uh, honey shopping from this uh, shop right here. Um, they had tasters in there. Let me just go back in to show you what they had. I um, managed to get the prickly pear, not the juice, but the uh, jam. It was lovely. I tried it last time. And the cheeses. You get to see what they were doing in there, but I'll give you a rundown of the shop. I managed to pick up some honey and um, thyme infused. They didn't have the eucalyptus karub, which is this one, which now we're looking after the karub eucalyptus and uh, wildflowers. But yeah, you can get to taste stuff. This one is what we picked up. And yeah, looking forward to um, just getting more stuff later on. We're, we're on the hunt for the other ones now, so. Oh, I just saw something that I'm in love with now for tiddles. So got some cheeses that you can go through customs apparently. So anyway, we're now taking another route around. Sorry, sweetie pie, that was me just having a quick gander in there because I forgot to take it. Got too excited <coughs> with the uh, they're, buying. They're a lot cheaper than the main one. Yep. Well, the other one is very um, commercial. commercial. Are over there. Yeah, the beehives, they've got their own sort of uh, at the back somewhere behind those. And the views are just to die for. Sheet metal artist. Oh, look at some of the stuff they're doing up on there. Oh, wow. I wonder if they've got anything that's showing. They don't have a show on. Well, at least you can always come here and give them the design you want, they'll do it for you. photos of photography allowed and I went whoops in my head so I thought come uh, come back out but we got the gist oriental or original I can't even read paintings and handmade stained glasses from the best local artist one thing that I've missed that uh, they don't do very much in the UK much now is the lace work. Wow, look at the lace umbrella at the back. Top right hand side. <coughs> yeah, they, that, that's until 1.45. Should we go in? I'm sure they're going to say no, no land photography, but yeah, you can go in and watch because that's on until 1.45. Yeah, we're not allowed to take any more photography, so we'll have to stop now and keep you guys posted.
yeah, we've just finished the, re the reviewing about the craft at the village. Um, uh, Anthony, you were just saying about the clock in the... Uh, what were you mentioning? Actually, the only thing... Um, well, I they said factory prices, but... What we're doing now is uh, going back, we finished there, and we're going to go back to uh, getting a bus to Victoria, ferry terminal. To ferry terminal, yeah. Well, but we'll have to take the route, two buses, it'll take us back to uh, um, basically Victoria bus terminal, which is the old, or rabbit, of, um, uh, um, uh, which, are we on? we're on Gozo. And uh, that's the old town, uh, which is new name is Victoria, it's the capital of uh, Gozo. And then we can take the 301 um, to, literally to uh, the ferry. We'll probably grab something to eat while we're there. Because it's cheaper. It's a lot cheaper down here than it is in Malta that charge uh, uh, extortionate tourist prices. So yeah, but uh, looking around here and the, and the, the wideness and even the driving is a lot safer. We're sitting at the bus stop um, and uh, we've just had a revelation. We wanted to get something to eat, um, like one of their pastries and stuff, and we were thinking of getting it near the ferry. But then there's a famous uh, baker um, on Gozo Island called Nukran Bakery. They're known to do pizzas and sort of the Maltese bakers uh, that do uh, the traditional old style. We're going to leave the bus uh, passes, but what we're going to do is to get back in and we're going to go there. We found out the directions. We've just seen a bus again, so we're going to take it to Victoria, but instead of going to the ferry, we're going to go out to an area called Nador, where that Baker's is, and then head back to the ferry. Are you sure we can do it? Yep, they both go uh, there. We'll ask for the next one, but both of them go to Victoria. Okay. Destination final, Victoria Rabbit. Anyway, I'll speak to you guys later. You can ask them. Well, we managed to get our food. We got two humongous slices of pizza vegetarian, two drinks. Um, and at the cost of four uh, euros fifty, and oh my god, I'm struggling to finish it. And yeah, so that comes up to about four. Yeah, it comes up to about four pounds, doesn't it, for two meal deals? Amazing. Anyway, better get back to trying to eat before I forget myself, and then not be able to finish. <laughs> 